I lost my voice. I don't know. What is up, Comic Con and Big Mouth fans? Oh my gosh. I am Whitney Moore, and I am so, so, so excited for this panel. Big Mouth is one of my absolute favorite animated shows out there right now, and season two just dropped today, you guys. Are we excited? Oh, I'm excited. I want to go home right now and watch it after we're done with this. All right, of bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> I am joined, of course, by our magnificent, hilarious creator, Nick Kroll. <laughs> and we have the fabulous Jesse Klein, uh, who plays Jesse on the show. <laughs> we got Jenny Slate as Missy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we have Daddy Birch, Fred Armisen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today with me, you guys. I'm so excited about this season two. Um, I want to get right into it because we only have 15 minutes. So I'm going to bust right through it. Ready. Um, okay, so what is your favorite thing in season two that people can look forward to? Oh, man. Uh, we've got a bunch of different things. We have an episode uh, that's a little bit of a break in us, uh, for, which is episode five, which is all about the different services that Planned Parenthood offers, uh, which is sort of five different vignettes. Uh, a sci-fi one starring uh, Jenny as Missy, where uh, she's a part of a Star Wars crew called the Vagilantes. Yeah. And <laughs> uh, and and uh, so I don't know. It's hard for me to say, but I, but I really think uh, episode five, the Planned Parenthood one, is a special episode. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Anybody else want to chime in? Do we want to chime in? <laughs> Do we feel like chiming in? I don't know how much we're allowed to reveal. Uh, yes, you can reveal. And oh, let's maybe the, the second episode is an interesting one. I love my body. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a nice one. We go to a Korean spa. Yes. Yeah. Love yes. those. <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah. Ma Maya Rudolph sings a song called I Love My Body. Fred, are you? do you know Maya Rudolph? Are you familiar with her work? I, I met her twice. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, have, do you guys see yeah, there's a great, puberty great monster polite. cosplay happening Whoa. right here? Stand up, stand Incredible. up. Yeah. 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 Yes. Oh. Oh Ladies and gentlemen, good. that is Maya Rudolph. Give it up. Yeah. <laughs> Good. That's that incredible. Is good. Uh, okay, so a question about just the creation process. Um, which came first, the name Big Mouth or the animation style? Because it's such a unique animation style. Uh, I think what came first was my, my literal Big <laughs> Mouth. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I think when we were looking at pictures of me as a little guy, I was just like all mouth and forehead, uh, and I still am, I think, largely. So uh, that was sort of the idea, and then it led to, I think, mouths and eyes have to be very big in animation and it just kind of made sense. And I think all of us have uh, very active mouths, good <laughs> mouths. That's a nice way of putting it. Yeah. Active mouths. We all have <laughs> active mouths. <Yeah. laughs> Amazing. OK, so I'm really interested. We have one adult on the couch of the show. And I want to know, because the, so much of the show is focused on like the delicious, cringy moments of growing up. Do you think that adults are just as cringy? I do. I would say more cringy, mm -hmm. <laughs> definitely. There's like their angle, their whole, uh, the, what they think is a loving attitude towards the, their kids, but it's just as cringy, definitely. Yeah. You definitely see that in your oh, character yes, as well. Yes, yeah. Every time I see these lines that I'm supposed to do, I, it's like first I'm repulsed and then, <laughs> then I get to enjoy it. Have there I, yeah. any moments for any of you guys where you've been like, oh, that is too close to home? Yeah. Yeah, all of it. I think every, of every part of it. Yeah. Every yeah. single minute. Well, it is weirdly, I think that's the joy of doing the show uh, and writing it and, and, and voicing it is like, it's all this stuff that we went through and now we're watching our friends and their kids and everybody go through. Um, and there's, but I think there's something cathartic in, in making it funny and, and taking a little bit of the, the pressure and uh, f heat off of it. And, and if you can laugh at yourself at puberty, then it makes the rest of your life a little bit easier. Yeah, I love it. I love to laugh at myself every day right. in the mirror. I uh, want to know, because so much of the show, I know so many fans are adults, and they love to reminisce about all of the times, and it sort of makes us all feel a little less alone in our weirdness. Um, but there is a wonderful aspect of the show that is sort of educational, and sort of, you know, it, it helps people, OK. <laughs> Sorry. Jason Manzoukas, everybody. Sorry. Welcome, welcome. I'm sorry I'm late, everybody. Uh, <laughs> How's it going, Comic-Con? 
For those of you guys who don't know, this is Vincent Gallo. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, now the, the hot Jason seat is going to be on. Jason everybody! Uh, Jay is a very interesting character to me uh, because he has something that I, I really remember from dudes that I went to high school with where it's like, it's like I'm so cool and they're so not cool. What do you mean? Is, mm, is that He's something that you relate cool. to? He's a, he's a pretty cool guy, right? Yeah. He fucks a pillow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just like all cool dudes. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, we were, okay, um, going back to your Planned Parenthood episode, mm -hmm. there's so much of this, do you feel like that was sort of something that you started with as a goal for the show, or is that something that you've kind of realized that you have an opportunity to teach about sex education and being cool with your body and... Uh, I think we thing? all were just interested interested in telling the stories of puberty and sexuality uh, and if there are and and first and foremost to be funny and entertaining and if there happens to be some messages that are positive out there or, or useful then that's like a great byproduct for it um, but I think uh, yeah I, I don't know I think that's my answer yeah sex is pretty tight yeah uh, I, <laughs> I want to talk a little bit you have these wonderful manifestations of these huge emotions that you go through as a teen are uh, which ones are we gonna start seeing in season two and also uh, how are you able to make it so damn real <laughs> uh, well uh, they, we've got the hormone monsters and, and hormone monster uh, and uh, this year we also have added the shame wizard <laughs> uh, voiced by David Thewlis, oh, uh, yeah. who you guys, who is it? What's his name from? Professor Remus Lupin. Yes. yes. Uh, oh, I want yeah. him to shame me. That kid's really excited about it. So yeah. Excited. <laughs> uh, he's not as nice as Lupin. He's a he's a real he's a wizard and he's sh filled with shame. He but does I does say expecto patronum in the show. That's not licensed? No, okay, it's, not it's true. definitely That's licensed. <laughs> I, I don't know. We all have, like, I guess Maya is your uh, hormone monstrous and uh, continues to be there, right? Yeah, or? I think there will be a, a nice a nice dose of Jesse feeling some uh, newly erupted female rage. Yeah. Is that anyone's feeling? I don't yeah. know. Will that be relatable? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't go away. No, no. no. It gets bigger and bigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I um, I gotta know. Okay, so some of you are uh, involved in a lot of different creative platforms: stand up, uh, animation, voice acting, on camera acting. Uh, in the process of the show, and when you're working with writers, how do you sort of decide if something is better uh, delivered on, on the stand up set or uh, in live action, and uh, which are, is better for animation? How do you decide? What do you think, Jenny? What do you think? You have any thought about? Um, I I save the stuff that's truly, truly personal for stand up, um, <laughs> because that's how I work through <laughs> my hardest feelings, mm -hmm. um, and remind myself that people are good and that I love them. Um, and then the stuff that is like less personal, uh, and that goes into everywhere else. <laughs> Amazing. So Fred, come you... see me do stand-up. It's all my secret. Yeah. <laughs> and Fred, you you always were pitching to do your stand-up for drummers on our show. I did, but to animate it, it just took too long. So I recorded a whole stand-up thing for the show. Wow. And they just didn't want to animate no, it. No, we didn't want to. There was, we were not interested in that. I apologize about <laughs> but, that. But what's the, what is it that you said? You said no, right? Yeah, that was, I think it was, it was specifically no. Uh, but I think, yeah, I think it's like there are elements that we've all taken from different el uh, aspects of our creative endeavors. There's a lot of improvisation on the show. I mean, when we you have truly the funniest cast uh, who are all writers in their own uh, right that uh, we definitely have mined everybody on this stage for their own amazing improvisational writing abilities when we're recording the show. Yeah, and speaking of that, I want to know, we got a couple minutes left. Uh, are there any memories that are burned into your brain that uh, are just your personal embarrassing moments as a teen. I will start. When I was uh, a teen, I had a crush on a boy who came to my window at night dressed like the crow. And I was like, what? that's so hot. What the hell? Yeah, I'm so into this. So I dressed up like Catwoman the next night. And I was like, meet me at the school. And I hid in a tree. And <laughs> that was a real thing Bro, that happened. That's fascinating. That's I a beautiful not, memory. I did not get no, I got rejected, so that was maybe oh. the embarrassing part. It didn't seem like it was going in that direction. <laughs> maybe he got shot. Uh-oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Nobody wants it. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Nobody needs it. <laughs> Any, anybody <laughs> with just like, because let's have this be a, a healing time for everybody. Yeah. If there's anything that's been weighing on your mind, something that you did as a teen. Well, I, I mean, I got pantsed when I was in middle school uh, in front of the girl that I had a crush on and yes. uh, and uh, fully pants, fully nude. I was wearing silk boxer shorts and like a little Hugh Classy. Hefner. Uh, and we did that on the show this year. So it's uh, the show is really cathartic in working through that kind of stuff uh, for me personally. Was it your friend that pantsed you? No, it was another girl uh, who uh, pantsed me. A twist. And, uh, yeah. And now I'm a comedian, so here we are. <laughs> Anybody else got some burning, uh, embarrassing memories that they want to share? One time I really liked this guy when I was on a uh, summer program uh, for kids who like to do academics during the summer. <laughs> and I thought that we were vibing and that he was looking at me a lot. And then um, I was like sitting in my dorm room and I was in the window and he was in the room upstairs and I could hear him talking to his friends. <laughs> and they were like, oh, and my nickname that summer was Duty, which is a huge bummer about something else that happened. <laughs> And so they were like, oh, Duty's going to come upstairs. And he was like, who's Duty? And I was like, oh, man, he doesn't even know who I am. Oh. And then they were like, you know, it's that girl who sort of looks like a chicken. And then he was like, oh, no, I know what you mean. She looks like a lizard. And they were like, no, a chicken. And I heard them just arguing about, like, how I... Yeah, and I was in my window being like, do I jump or... Oh, so, yeah, so I also sad. am a comedian as well. <laughs> He's oh, like, anyway, I got to dress up like a crow and talk yeah. to that girl. <laughs> Kids are so nice to each other. They're it's, great. It's really easy being an adult. You guys, thank you so much. I wish that I had, like, three hours with yeah. you. Is there anything that you want to say to the fans? We got a live stream happening. Uh, Big Mouth is airing right now. It dropped today on Netflix, so please... Please watch it and tell everybody to check it out. And thank you. We love you. Thank, thank you guys you. for watching. And thank you to the Hormone Monsters. Thanks for driving up. Thank Coming you. up next, we got David Mack talking the American Gods comic. So don't go anywhere. Uh, hashtag it's a fan thing. Tweet it so I can creep on you. Hi, I'm Jackie Jennings with Sci-Fi Wire. If you can't get enough of New York Comic Con, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel for news, interviews, cosplay, and so much more. What are you waiting for?